Um, let me turn up my volume here. I'm at work, so I'm trying to just throw some content out just so everybody sees what's going on because the past um, couple of days I've been saving for 60R, so I haven't really been pushing or I, I've just been chest collecting. But this morning we went 60R, we got the GBE, and as soon as we did that, shot up to 24. Um, got to thank Nonsec for the base. Um, without BH, most 60Rs are just, eh, I mean, you know, all the compacts suck. But um, without snipers, without the CMO or Flotsam, without, you know, most of the goodies, this is the best base. Um, I hadn't even collected the 24. Or rank chest yet so we'll do that um, you can see where we are on global um, doom and stoneheart absolutely killing it this season I don't know if anybody else has does that but my stuff slows down dramatically when I get to uh, the leaderboard um, Austin's also killing it um, big shout out to Zero AM. He hit leg this morning in the task force. <laughs> He's got another one right behind it. Um, task force is absolutely killing it. Now, if you want to do good in Boom Beach or you want to get better or you just want to be in an amazing warships task force, um, see if we have any room in Sugar Ship because it's definitely the place to be there's ace he's killing it double d i'm just glad he i'm not on one of his banana videos um so far destro and 2.0 is killing it there's cobra he's on vacation otherwise he'd probably be in leg right now um and there i am 239 Stoneheart in the U.S. leaderboard. Keg is killing it all season. He has been. QED or non-sec. Absolutely amazing. Um, Jham, um, I saw he has a YouTube channel. I don't really know him, but he's doing some really cool rocket chopper hits. Um, Ace, obviously. And then me and Cobra. Um, Task Force. Well, crazy. Alright, so here's the base. Let's show a few hits. I'm dropping one and two. Flaring, clearing the shock mines, dropping bullet, taunt, shocking the shock launcher because they will shock lock bullet and it's really winning by any means necessary now if everybody else goes down i just have bullet left i'll tank all the yards if i need to um i think i actually did that here um yeah i did that here i full cleared with bullet and one so um, it I mean it was a grind but um, hurricane absolutely abused me I just wanted to show his base real quick because it would probably be good for rocket jobbers but for a bomber player it uh, ate me alive um, but uh, yeah Uh, this is the spread out base. I've gotten really good at it. It's uh, one, two. Clear a few of the mines, let it clear up, and then I drop bullet once those front defenses go down for him to go right. Normally there's a DC where that boom cannon is, and I just let bullet tank it while I drop the others to the right. Now I'm dropping those troops on the right to take care of those two RLs on the right. That's all I want them to do. 
Um, and then the rest is just spanning out. You got to watch this blanking RL over here on the left side. Because uh, it will really hurt your feelings if you don't pay attention to it. And you don't have many left, but they're there to uh, kind of spread out, get the job done. I think this is another one where I let bullet tank. Now on the shock, I'm going to pause it real quick. On the grappler bases, obviously shock the grappler until you have enough uh, troops in place where they're not going to, where it's not going to snatch bullet immediately. The problem with this base is that the grappler is up front, so you can deal with it pretty quickly. But you also have to worry about the shock launchers because the shock launchers will shock bullet. And then its health will go down really quickly. Um, same thing with shock mines. So doing the one two, I shock the grappler, and then I drop the other troops that get annihilated upon landing. And then we're gra and then uh, we're taunting. I keep that left RL pin down because it flanks pretty hard. But then we're shocking the shock launchers, taunting. And the problem is because bullets off center that all the RLs are just pretty much overshooting him. And then I just go and tank the RLs. And get the ER by any means necessary, guys. Because until I get BH or shock launchers or even heavy choppers, it's just hard to compete with people that have significantly more tech than me. One and two flare so that the bombers don't come up too much. Nah. Now, if I was a little bit more patient with these hits, I could probably full clear. But, um, yeah, I just got to get into a rhythm. I've only been 60 or for like a half of a second. So, um, I still haven't really gotten used to the hits. But, I will shortly. And that's the end of that. And I believe my boss fight was this 5ER. But people have switched to the grappler. So I'll show it real quick. There was mines behind the statue. So we're going. Now I keep that grappler pinned down. Well, I did that RL so that it wouldn't overshoot bullets. So we got up front. I dropped the bombers first to handle the flamethrowers, and then the rifle behind, and then one one on each side. Medics to come up to heal um, the bombers, and see I had the grappler pinned down, and now we just go to work like normal. So those grappler bases aren't that hard if you can keep it pinned down. But I also got the GBE after 6, so I have 100 GBE, so it makes it um, significantly easier than when I just had um, the 1 GBE, you know. So I looked up with my boss fight to 24. Um, let's go through the tech tree real quick. Um, I maxed out rocket choppers just in case I needed them. But, uh... Next, it'll be shock launchers and BH tomorrow, and then uh, heavy choppers um, tomorrow's Thursday. So heavy choppers either Thursday night or Friday morning. I'll have to add it up. But once we do that, I'm going to start backfilling. Hopefully I get leg with the uh, heavy choppers, and then I'll backfill with uh, either the sky shield or the DC. 
and then we'll go all the way back for uh, sniper towers um, just to fill in before we go seven honestly hopefully um, I'm high enough in leg or in leg before seven and I'll just park but uh, we'll definitely see we'll see how things goes anyways if you guys have any questions you can reach me on telegram and as always just feel free to uh, ask anything you want and uh, yeah have a great day we'll talk to you guys later